Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Holdacious and I am playing some of Rust and I'll be showing you how you can keep your house safe by using key locks. Code locks are without a doubt better than key locks, but if you're just starting out on a new server and you don't have the resources quite yet, a key lock is your best option. Here's our home here and we're going to go ahead and place a key lock on this door and give ourselves a key. Now what's really dangerous about key locks is that you have to have the key on you if you want to get back inside. So if you're out exploring and someone kills you and loots your key, they can break into your house and steal all your stuff. But not only that, you won't be able to get in your own home again. A couple tips I'm going to show you here today should help you with all that. Now the idea behind all this is to hide your key within a container which is also hidden somewhere in the world. The first way you can do this is to build yourself a wooden box, find yourself a bush, and place that box right in the middle of the bush so it's pretty well hidden. Go up to it, place our key inside, and go out on an adventure without worrying about dying and losing our key. That method was probably the easiest way of hiding your key to your home. This next one would require a lantern, which you can find in barrels and rad towns. Now you need to find a tree that's on a hill so its roots are showing. You can pull out your lantern and place that within the roots and still loot it while it's tucked inside of the tree. I believe this is the better way of hiding your key because it's actually out of sight and no one would expect it. So you can pull out that wood and place in your key like so. One risky thing about this is hopefully no one else chops down this tree and hopefully you don't forget which tree your key is under. Now if you can't find a lantern or want more storage space then you can craft yourself a campfire, find yourself a really thick root and tuck that baby right under there and then now you have six or five storage spaces under this tree. And also you can freak out your neighbors making them think that the forest is on fire. And that's the end video guys, I hope this helps some of you guys out there get started out in Ross who can't afford a code lock yet. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, remember to have a fantastic day. I don't know that one, I'll see you guys all later. Hey, 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 everybody back up. Let's split in half, let's split in half. The rest of us can go a different way. The rest of us can go a different way. Maybe we should blow down the roof. Is this fucking happening right now? Thank you.